Armed with an indomitable will and absolute belief, Pope Gregory VII forever changed the landscape of the Catholic Church. Gregory was not just a pope, but a transformative figure, a stalwart of church reform. His unwavering dedication to this cause sparked the investiture controversy, setting the stage for an unprecedented power struggle between the church and secular rulers. His influence was so profound that the events leading up to and following his death marked a pivotal period in church history. Pope Gregory VII's final years were fraught with contention and struggle. The spiritual tug of war with Henry IV of Germany marked the twilight of his papacy. The Pope, steadfast in his principles, excommunicated Henry in a bold move that sent ripples through the religious and political landscape. This led to the infamous Walk to Canossa in the winter of 1077. A humiliated Henry, barefoot in the snow, begged for the Pope's forgiveness. Yet, the victory was short-lived. Rome, the heart of Christendom, fell under siege by Henry's forces, forcing Gregory into exile. The Pope's journey ended in the coastal town of Salerno, far from the marbled halls of the Vatican. There, in 1085, Gregory breathed his last, but not before leaving a final testament to his unyielding resolve. His last words echoed his lifelong commitment to justice. I have loved justice and hated iniquity. Therefore, I die in exile. The death of Pope Gregory VII did not mark the end of his influence, but rather the beginning of his enduring legacy. The turbulent aftermath of his demise saw the continuation of the investiture controversy, eventually leading to a compromise in the Concordat of Worms. Gregory's reforms, though contentious, spurred a shift in the Church's power dynamic, fortifying its independence. Decades later, the ripples of his audacious decisions can still be felt. Pope Gregory VII's legacy lives on, a testament to his unwavering dedication to the Church and its sovereignty.